Did you know that you can serve so much until you burn out that your service will no longer be effective? You can serve and work so hard that there comes a point where your work and your service will no longer be effective. Martha found that out when Mary and herself were dealing with Jesus in the home. You see, Jesus came to the home and Mary sat at his feet while Martha was encumbered with much serving. This is in Luke chapter 10, verse 40. Martha was weighed down, encumbered with much serving. She knew Jesus was coming. Then she knew Jesus was there. And while he was there, she I can just imagine she was doing the dishes. She was sweeping. She was trying to get the food ready. She was just hurrying and scurrying, trying her best with everything she had to make the house prepared for Jesus because she wasn't prepared for Jesus. Now, Mary, on the other hand, she didn't concentrate at all on helping Martha. And this frustrated Martha. But Jesus said, Martha, Mary does the good thing. Mary does the proper thing. She knew well enough that she had the Lord, God creator himself, in the house. And she wasn't worried about anything except with being with Jesus. And we can take that lessons ourselves. In our homes, in our families, in our jobs, especially in the ministry, especially working with the body of Christ in church. We can do so much earthly things that we become of no spiritual good. We can do so many tasks. We can do so many ministries. We can do so many things to try to fix or try to prepare. And there comes a point where there's only so much we can do. You ever come home one day from work? You're exhausted. You know the dishes need to be done. There's a problem or a situation. Somebody's hurt. Maybe somebody passed away in the family of a friend or a church member, a co-worker. Just you come home and you're just, you know, the house needs to get taken care of. Oh, the garbages need to get taken out. Oh, the dog needs to be fed right now, right now. But you know what? Sometimes when we are encumbered with those things that need to be done around us, we need to pay attention to the things that are most important. And although we do need to get to those things, those things can wait. They do not become our primary focus when God should be our primary focus. If there is another need, if there is another situation, if somebody calls and they need a, a help and they need to be talked to and they need counseling, are you going to tell them, I'm sorry, I have dishes to do? <laughs> That's almost as bad as saying, I have to have my hair done. Sorry. We have to be available for Jesus. We have to be available for those who are in need. And sometimes our, our, our pile up of, of tasks can seem daunting. But God, in his grace, will give us the time to get things done in his time. So what do we call this message today? Sometimes the dishes get left in the sink. Sometimes the dishes get left in the sink. If Jesus is in the house, those dishes can wait. Let us come to the Lord to recharge our energies, to get that spiritual uh, empowerment, to get that, that recharge of love and compassion and fellowship. Let us not judge 
the situation as the work is more important than the workers or the work is more important than those in need and let us never come to the place where we feel that the work is more important than the Lord we retrieve our power we obtain our power from the Lord to do the work let us get on our knees to our master's feet to get that blast of power, love, and energy to be able to do the works that are ahead of us. Always keeping in mind that the Lord is also the Lord of our work. He is also the Lord of our day. And He will in due time give us the time to get things done. May the Lord richly bless you. Mobile Preacher out.